All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayamba. Welcome to our conference call, Sunday, November 8th, and we're here to talk about our preparation for Tanzania, Senegal, the Gambia, South Africa, and Ghana tour. Uh, so what I want to do is continue from where we left off at last uh, conference call uh, last month. Uh, we went through the 30-point um, uh, preparation and departure list. Uh, that was uh, mainly for um, that was for the title Tanzania tour, but also it was uh, the same exact information for the Ghana tour and all the other tours that I mentioned. So what I want to do uh, is also just um, just go through a few general things, and then we're going to open things up for question, and then just give um, all of the updates um, from now, and also try to answer them uh, in the questions. All right. So the, the main thing uh, that I have uh, that everyone that's traveled with me this uh, one everyone to be clear on over and over is the fact that we have all of the details on the uh, website typed up as far as the overview, uh, the specific uh, itinerary, and the general terms. And the general terms as cancellation and refund policy, and that's one thing I want everyone to be clear on, whether you uh, cancel a trip or you have to be transferred, because we're consistently paying for a process of getting tours done throughout the whole year. Uh, so people are being paid and things are being reserved and being paid for. And yes, the people that we deal with, uh, they do have their cancellation and refund policy. And sometimes once you pay, like example for certain like domestic tickets, once you pay for it and you don't show or they're not like Delta or Kalem where they just transfer you to another time or so on, they just, it's just a loss. Uh, so the cancellation and refund policy in the general terms itself is just based on the reality of what we have to do as far as making business work and things like that. And um, also, if anyone ever needs to communicate with me at this point, the best thing to do is to communicate on WhatsApp as we are starting to work our tour rotation again. Uh, so I have WhatsApp group for all the tours and all the investment and business that we do as far as Africa for Africans tours and investment and things that I'm in, involved with as far as uh, those things. Uh, so that's the quickest way to get a response, that and via email. So if I'm traveling or moving around, that's one thing I'll check is the email and the yeah, WhatsApp message. Uh, once I'm you know, moving around Tanzania, because we're leaving November 20th and we'll be back on the 30th, uh, the phone calls and text messages, regular text messages, those are things that um, you just, once we come back in and connect to the network, it will just uh, come through. Uh, so I, I can check voicemails while I'm there every once in a while, but the most efficient way is email and WhatsApp, uh, whether it's a WhatsApp phone call or a message or just leaving an audio recording. Uh, so that's the uh, main thing I just want to always uh, be clear on that way we're focusing to level up efficiency. If you're trying to get in touch with me, I want you to be able to get in touch with me because the people I deal with, I'm in this business to, you know, to be available to make sure that we you know, carry through on everything that we agree on and, that, and what you paid your money for. And in this time of this traveling and dealing with, you know, dealing with you know, COVID drama, uh, all of us that are traveling uh, at this very moment definitely have to be clear about the fact that we all have to have a COVID test before we enter Tanzania and Ghana. And then in Ghana, we also have to pay for one there. So since that's why one of the most important thing, the best game plan I have that we've talked about, for, even Tanzania, since we're leaving on November 20th, is that we find somewhere that can book us an appointment for the 17th and get a guarantee um, return by the 19th, so they have to be somewhere that processes in like 24 hours and just let them know that you need it to be stamped clear um, on the 19th and then when you get on your flight, that's the 20th, and when you get to the country, it's the 21st. So that means that you're in the three-day mark uh, and things like that. So the worst case you time you, or the earliest you can really get it is the 18th and then um, 19 is perfect and the 20th would be literally pushing it, but Nevertheless, uh, it depends on when your flight leave out. If you have to get the results back on that day, that's uh, also fine. So we all have to be clear on these things. Um, the best thing I recommend everyone do is call a bunch of you know, different places in your area and do your research on what works best for you. Um, I don't really have much advice I can give anyone. The people who are coming with me to Tanzania, we have shared our information on the group page. So for other tours, if anyone wants to share different ideas, uh, the group page is there for networking and things like that. And talking about networking, um, once we get closer to these tours, what I'm looking to do as far as introductions now 
is to do two video calls, um, and that's within like uh, two weeks of us leaving uh, on the, the the journey itself. And it's usually just a one hour call, introductions and us connecting, and it makes it a lot simpler once we all get to meet up in Atlanta and or Amsterdam. So everything that we have set up is just literally just straight uh, this preparation and clarity. So um, again, all the things that we talked about on the last conference call on that list, and for those who weren't on the conference call, uh, the list is called the Departure Reminder List. Uh, once you click on any of the tours that you, are, uh, you have signed up for, all you have to do is just uh, scroll down to the list of all of the things that's on there, because you can, all of it is important from the itinerary, overview, general terms, uh, visa, if the country requires a visa, and so on, and, and you have that preparation list, and it is all the things I can think of that we need to be reminded of is on there. Uh, so that's also once we get closer to even traveling, I usually post the link or just post the PDF in the group page. Uh, so those are the, the things that we have set up is just to really just focus on what we have on the website, how we communicate in the group page, and making sure everyone is clear. And the next set of things that uh, we have is a list of things to just go to with everyone in reference to the uh, tickets. Um, for those of us that go to Tanzania, our tickets are all cleared on KLM, and then we all have domestic tickets on uh, Air Tanzania. So um, since uh, all the bookings are done on Delta KLM, all of us, uh, some of us only have to log into KLM, and then some of us have to log into Delta and KLM. Um, most of the time, Delta represents the local flights or the flights that's going to Amsterdam, and KLM represents the flight that goes from Amsterdam to Africa and back. Uh, so uh, in your uh, uh, e-ticket, which everyone that's traveling with us to, from to Tanzania and Ghana has already received, uh, make sure you log in and get a seat. And for one or two people who still can't get a seat, or uh, just and just send me a reminder um, uh, on WhatsApp. Um, this week I'm looking to go through, uh, you know, tickets that we need to do fix and things like that, and tickets that need to be taken care of because we had cancellations, all kind of things this year. So. Um, now that the flow of schedule of traveling is back, um, you know, we have to change some ticket, tickets around. So I'm going to uh, have some time to just work on those things. So if you literally can't get your ticket, uh, can't get your seat, I should say, uh, literally just uh, reach out to me. Because once you log into Delta, you're able to select your seat. Uh, KLM, however, they have the, they offer a flexible option to where, you have, where they pay charging for advanced seating. I was able to get a seat complimentary because I have a, a Sky, a Delta uh, Sky Medallion uh, priority, and that uh, allowed me to have uh, me and my son to have a, a complimentary seats. Uh, some people who have never flown on KLM, and even though they have a Sky Miles, when they log in, it's uh, charging them um, you know, the regular coach seat, and that's because that's what they do with KLM. They charge you for priority of seating. Uh, for those who don't get a seat and don't want to pay for it, uh, you can wait uh, when you check in, and then you'll be uh, given a seat. And then you can also call in, and if there's additional seats uh, available, you can just get moved around to the seat, the seat of your choice. But that's uh, all it is. And so anyone that's maybe just having any issues with those things, a WhatsApp message is what I'm looking at uh, from here on to just fix those things. And um, beyond uh, seats, uh, what we also have is uh, visa. Uh, so with the visa situation uh, for Tanzania, all of us have our visa, and it's the best visa process. Uh, everything we're able to do, we're able to do digitally. So we're able to upload all of our documents and fill out all of our application paperwork on the uh, website uh, via the uh, application process. And that was uh, nice and simple, and that was $100 for multiple entry for one year. Uh, so for those who are looking to travel in the future, um, and what I have is just that link right there on our website. Once you click on it, uh, you'll be able to just process. And then we have supporting details in the um, in the actual email that I prefer for you to operate from, but also on the website, I put the same details together. Uh, but with the visas, uh, the visas with me, when I send them out, they usually just have additional supporting uh, information via the uh, email. Uh, that way it's just a lot clearer, and then I can go through it with you and assist you for doing your visa simpler. Um, the next uh, visa is uh, Ghana. So for anyone that's traveling to Ghana, um, right now uh, you definitely have to make sure that you apply for the visa this month. If you put yourself in a situation and then the visa gets uh, delayed because of the rush going to Ghana for Christmas, uh, then that's definitely on you. Uh, I always recommend that all of us do our visa at least two and a half months before we travel. 
And then if you're getting a multiple entry, you can do it up to about six months. Um, we wouldn't recommend you do it any earlier than that. And then if you're doing single entry, which is only good for three months, you definitely have to make sure you do it at the two-month two mark. Because if you do it four months before you travel, then you're going to run into those problems where your visa is expired. So just um, notes and things uh, just um, to keep in mind. And then uh, the same thing with the, um, the visa process uh, for Ghana. It's, um, the application has to be filled out online, but it's not an um, online visa process where you're not going to get an e-visa, because that's what Tanzania does. They're going to email you the visa. Ghana, they're going to mail you back your passport with your visa, but you do have to f follow their process as far as filling out the uh, paperwork on their website. So that's what you'll see in the email that I've sent and also what you have on the, uh, the website now. And then any of us that's that doing visa in general, you still, it's always recommended that you go to the embassy website in general to look over things because uh, I do my best to make sure that every, every time we do a trip, six months or so, we just look at to see if anything is updated or changed. Uh, but I'm not always doing a visa, so if something changed, I don't always see it. Um, uh, like the Tanzania visa, once we did it, I was able to help everybody else, and it was just a simpler process. And again, family, uh, uh, we're all in these uh, group pages, so if you need to dialogue and share anything as far as visa and anything like that, uh, do communicate uh, with each other and um, any pointers and things like that. All right, and I'm just scrolling down the newsletter that I have. And what I also have is just a link uh, for anyone that has traveled with us or looking to travel with us. Uh, all the videos that I'm going to record, they're going to be in a separate playlist for the relative tour, Tanzania tour, November 20. 20, um, Ghana tour, December 2020, and it's just a video log of all the, um, the, the highlights of the tour, and sometimes it's, it's a lot of videos, but because uh, our goal is just to record more documentation, nice, clean documentation that shows a process of our entire journey, just like we're showing the entire process of us doing land development and investment and living in the country. I uh, understand there's a lot of people showing a lot of things on YouTube as far as a different country, but that's uh, their business and things like that. Um, uh, I just believe in you know, order and organization and things like that. Um, and I believe in making sure that we have the best diplomatic connection in the country, showing the best time in the country. And the problems and certain issues of the country, uh, you know, those things will always be addressed. But I'm not going to Tanzania or going to Ghana to talk about this and that. I'm going there to have a great time, I'm going there to build good relationships, come together with us, together with the people where we can be able to just enjoy an experience and be able to just connect on how we can do wonderful things together in Africa. And uh, anything that we see as a challenge or a struggle is things that we could work together as a people uh, in the diaspora and also in different uh, countries to fix and repair and things like that. And we always have to just think about going with a diplomatic energy and approach and understand that uh, issues that we have at any hotel or bus or whatever, we can talk civilized with it. Uh, the tours that we have set up, we put the best of everything together. Uh, but one thing we don't need is, uh, you know, folks just being extra about certain things. Uh, come talk to me if anyone have a problem. That's what I always instruct everyone to do. Talk to me. Don't talk to your fellow group members at the breakfast table and disturb them with whatever issues or problems that you have because it's not fair to them and you're disturbing the group and it's just not allowed and it's the quickest way to get into issues with uh, a lot of other people. Um, so. Let's uh, think about those things as we process and also think about that we have other people from, you know, that, that live in other parts of other countries and we all culturally grow up a little bit different, so we just have to just get in that flow. And these are all basic things, but trust me, I wouldn't be saying it if we didn't have issues over the years uh, on these things and things like that. So I don't own any hotel. I don't own a transportation company, and I appreciate all the people that we work with. Uh, we usually make sure that we're the best of the people, and our goal is to communicate and work with them, especially when I have issues with them. I talk with them respectfully, and we work it out as business people because we as a, uh, you know, people have to learn to do international business together. That way we can build a future together. And doing these journeys is a way to connect us to Africa and have a good time, but also ultimately it's for us to be a part of the future of the continent by connecting us with the right sort of people that we can connect people with. Um, example, I'm building a, uh, a strong relationship with uh, the two brothers that are, are working on our tour package uh, for Tanzania, and uh, sometimes we just select people based on referrals, recommendations, or a bunch of different things. But uh, they got the you know they got the deal, and you know we've just been con connecting and communicating. And I tell them you know let's do this as a people and build 
things at a high level because we're building in Ghana and, and once we get to a certain point, you know, maybe Tanzania is another country where we can do do business and, you know, work things together because we have to think in the means of if we don't come and enterprise like we should, then Indians and the Chinese and others are going to come and do it and then they're going to be offering us jobs and offering us slave wages and the next thing you know, we're going to be put back in the same situation and conditions of people. So um, this is part of, you know, what I can dedicate myself as a person to say, hey, we, let's do this in Africa and let's do it right and let's enjoy it to the fullness because when you travel with us, we're doing straight roots, culture, business, investment, nightlife, shopping, networking. There's a whole lot of connection. There's no limitation. We need not show everyone like we're us out at nighttime just enjoying ourselves, but we you know, definitely just show just the fullness to where, you know, you can just, you know, you can just compare this experience to other things as we begin to make Africa uh, more of that destination for whatever you want to do in your life, live, do business, uh, you know, get married, you want to, and definitely the level of investment. Uh, so that, that's more of my energy. Uh, and then um, half of the people that's traveling on these groups are people from our community uh, that have known me for a long time, and uh, you know they're going to be sharing. We're going to be just trying to just get a lot of interviews as best as possible to share our experience as far as traveling to Africa, getting access to land, looking to build, and things like that. It's an important story uh, that we are, you know, we're telling, so that's why I talk about everything is being documented, and I have additional cameras and things like that from body cam, mini cam, spy cam, um, and the waterproof cam, rugged cam, uh, phone cams, uh, drone cams, all those things set to where we can literally just um, document our connection at a high level on a serious base. And that's also people that are not there on YouTube, like these folks are on YouTube as a YouTube user. We're trying to get people to donate or like it. I'm uh, strictly there to document a lot of what we need and put it on there for free where there's no commercial. I don't need YouTube to give me a penny. I just need them to keep that space open and don't put no commercials on my video. And the same thing with Facebook. Just keep on allowing me to upload a ridiculous amount of videos and pictures on the network so I can share with our people in the diaspora because one thing I've realized is seeing is believing. And that's what I used to tell folks when we were traveling to Africa in 2004. Um, and I was like, you know, in order for us to get more people interested in traveling to Africa and connecting, we just live at the show the experience. So I'm also asking everyone to, when we're on these different, you know, we're on these, I have a few Facebook pages. You can share anything on there or, or, uh, or, or post anything, especially on the, like, the group pages that we have uh, on Facebook. You know, and then definitely on WhatsApp, your best pictures, your best videos, post them on there. And then I also look through them because I'm looking to share some of those also. And, uh, you know, we just get the energy going and we get to tell our side of the story in Africa. You know, like I, we have people living there and they look, they're, they're going to be showing more of their story of how they live in there and things like that. And things like that. So I always tell everyone uh, when you're looking at analyzing these things, because it can easily go wrong where you see a bunch of documentation from one or two people and it's just like dark and negative. But... I, have, I can't think of negative experience that I've had in Africa. I've been to so many countries, and honestly, it's been the best and the most positive and the most uplifting time of my life. It's just, and that's why I'm so dedicated to sharing it. And if it wasn't, you know, I wouldn't be, I would find another business to do, you know, and things like that um, versus doing it. But it's just something where I'm just telling you, once you document your own information, you document, please just share it and just, let people know this is my experience in Africa. And that's what I've told people about in this world of this business I'm, I do internationally in Africa, that this is my story in Africa. Our brothers and sisters in Africa are not trying to con me, not trying to rob me, not trying to do anything. If any issue that I have is most of the time I focus on that's what I goes there and set up and then look at people like myself like a source for them to con me and then con people I travel with. I've been in like three or four of those situations and we have to just resolve it quick. Um, but you know, so I just want to put that out for anyone who have just never met anyone from Ghana, anyone from Africa. Uh, you know, um, I was born in Jamaica, and the, my connection to the folks in Africa is just beautiful. And I lived here in America for 30-something years, and my connection to black conscious people in America is beautiful also. So just trying to connect with more conscious, righteous black people wherever we are and just build something special. So that's my flow of documentation, and that's what you'll see from the videos and the pictures and things, and that's what we try to just, like, you know, when you, you click on the website and you listen to the music, trying to get you into the vibes of this nice culture. Uh, and also, the last few things I'll, I'll 
uh, go to for open up our questions is what we, when we do these tours, always have tour t-shirts, tour bags, and tour books and things like that, uh, pens and things just to share, show this uh, love that appreciate everyone joining with us and we just want to give you something nice, a tour book with your schedule and things like that, not a raggedy piece of paper or pamphlet. Um, and also, if you ever want to bring school supplies or donations, um, uh, right now I'm building energy in Tanzania, but Ghana is one of those uh, countries where we usually have about two or three uh, school slash orphanage on our route, and um, especially the new one in our community in uh, Jihad, in our Black South Pan African community, in the actual town itself, uh, looking to connect with that orphanage and you know show some love, and that's the kind of person that I am, and that's the kind of people I want us to be, you know, more diplomatic than anything else. It will get us a lot further by doing things a certain way than to come with a certain aggression and things like that. And um, for anyone that's just been in YouTube world, you see some of the negative stuff you know, on, on YouTube about Ghana with, with you know, a few crazy people about Gambia and a few other uh, countries. But the thing of it is, um, and I tell people, if, if you want to judge the lens of Africa by their eyes, that's fine. But I'm coming out with some strong documentation that show us. And, you know, and that even motivated me when I see foolishness like that, uh, like this, uh, these clowns K&K &K squad. I saw them literally, and this is a recorded video, so um, I don't have an issue calling folks' uh, names out and, and, and when we do the upload. But literally, these jackasses literally drove to Jamestown and made it seem like this is what Ghana is about and things like that. When you travel with me to Ghana, you're going to go downtown Ghana. You're going to go by Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. Before that, you, you may have to turn there. You may see a little bit of Jamestown. It is a dumping ground. It is one of the oldest uh, parts of uh, Ghana. You know? And... Um, it's you not know, what it is, uh, but at the same time, too, is that those two people are from D.C., and I can show them worse parts of D.C. than what they look at, but I don't see them making videos about D.C. I'm just basically trying to tell folks that they're as far as what we have built here, not much uh, in a modern sense. And for us to go to a sovereign African nation that's struggling, trying to uplift themselves, and for us to just consistently just, just put stupidity out there, number one thing, and you in Ghana, you're going to get charged more money because there's a Ghanaian price and an international price. So people tend to fight and fuss about that. I try to work myself into negotiation to get the price closer to the middle and deal with it. The same thing with building, even dealing with our attorney and things like that. It's, it's a part of the culture, and it's nothing that's going to change overnight. And um, people can flip it different ways because I've heard people flip it certain ways. And that's fine, but I'm telling you, I've been able to respectfully follow things in the country, and I get number love in the country, and I'm always being invited. And one of the best things is to go somewhere where you're being invited versus you being in a country where you know folks, some, well, not, I can't say it's everybody, but some people just don't want you here. Some people have their, you know, when you go to our energy and traveling with us, we create an energy where people want you to be there. But anyway, family, um, don't want to, um, all of this stuff is a lot of documentation. Even when you scroll down, there's links. To all of the, um, the Facebook group page, you can always add yourself onto it and things like that. Uh, so um, as far as networking and things like that, we have those things set up. Just use them and let's keep on communicating. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop um, and open things back up to the, the mute all mode, which you'll be able to press star six to unmute yourself. And then we can just go into some dialogue and some questions. But those are some of the main things that I needed just to go over. And also, last thing, uh, um, Every tour that we have, it's a $50 group tip. The $50 group tip we put together with more money, and then that's how we spread the tips out and also give additionals and get things done and just build that uh, energy and get things taken care of for us versus us uh, doing it ourselves. So, family, so that is um, an overview. And if I miss anything, which I probably have done, um, ask the questions and bring certain things up, and we'll go through it. Bomani, this is Deborah. Uh, greetings, uh, Deborah. Uh, just as a follow-up, I'm, I'm catching up on uh, the trip and everything, but did you say to go and um, schedule the tour? Where do we go to do that again? Uh, schedule what tour? On the website? For the no, you, you don't have to schedule nothing. Our tour is the itinerary, the itinerary that we have, that we agreed, the itinerary that we have, the tour overview and the itinerary, is, that's your tour right there. You don't have to do anything. only thing that you have to do is show up. Uh, every morning and be available to get on the bus when we agree that the bus is going to leave. And that's it. If you're talking about the, any optional tour or what anyone else is doing, that's staying back or thinking about staying back, uh, those things are not something I can um, say anything about. Derek was, um, was talking about doing something else. So 
But that's something okay, that's... Okay, no, no problem. No, I was just concerned about the tours just showing up on a daily basis. Okay, I'm clear on that. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Sean, I think you're mixing it up with um, someone doing a tour after we all left. Because you said something about um, schedule. Well, I'm I'm catching up. You know where I've been. I, I've been in a whirlwind, so I'm just catching up, making sure, making sure I'm clear. Yeah, um, everything on our tour is uh, a clear of Tanzania. We just uh, literally have to meet up at the point where we need to meet up at. We have the um, okay. yeah, departure list uh, that's on the website that we posted on the uh, group page. That's kind of what we have to go by, but uh, we'll all meet up two hours before our flight in Atlanta, and uh, we're just going to go with that itinerary flow. It and... Outside of that is just the COVID test. Um, everybody just has to schedule it to where once we get there, it's within three days. Okay, okay. And in terms of the airline tickets, you want us to print out our e-tickets, like noun or something you said? Uh, it's always a good idea to print it out and keep it with you, even though, and then also create a login to where you can log in on your phone and things like that. And um, and then if you want to access the seats, you can access the seats now. But the main thing is that I just want everyone to get access to their book, and especially flights like right away, especially since uh, if any names or anything is incorrect. Like when we first did it, you know, you just, we just get it fixed right away. Um, okay. But beyond that, just uh, be clear on the route you have. And what we can do in a group page for everyone that's listening to Tanzania is that um, we'll, you know, we'll just send each other a few messages, especially those of us in Atlanta, and, and we'll just give a time like when we can meet up at the international terminal, like, like when we first walk inside of the door, and then we can just all just connect and assist each other with checking in, and then we just all go through security and meet the rest of the people. So that's uh, one of the things um, I'm going to be posted, and then also try to see if we can schedule another Zoom video call for everyone that's uh, traveling to Tanzania. Uh, so those who didn't get a chance to meet uh, introduce themselves, can introduce themselves, and um, then we just kind of like just go over everything uh, one last time, and we can do that uh, literally, uh, you know, literally like uh, either sometime this week or the beginning of uh, next week, and we can you know even discuss that on the page. But that's definitely something I want to start doing more for all of the groups as everyone is listening. Uh, so uh, go to get everyone in these group pages and get everyone um, on Zoom and things like that. And then when we actually just meet up at the airport and get to the country, um, we don't have to do these long uh, introductions like we have done in the past, and we can just get right to this you know, connecting. So perfect. So um, the board definitely looking forward to connecting with you and everything. And um, you, know, you and I can also just you know, talk to catch up uh, this week also. Hey, Bomani, this is Hosea. Do you hear me? Uh, uh, yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, yeah. You know, you mentioned the COVID test on this side, and that's pretty clear. But I was looking on the uh, on the flight uh, uh, web page today, and I think we're going to have to do some, uh, something with the COVID test at, when we get to Ghana. And I believe we can fill out paperwork for that before we get there. Is that correct? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, the only thing I'm looking to do is once I get to Ghana, uh, whatever they have, I'll take it there in Ghana and pay for it there in Ghana. If they do have anything that you have to do ahead of time, uh, you can, you're more than welcome to yeah. look it up, check it out for us, and then share yeah. it on the group page and uh, discuss it. Yeah. I'll take and look that up, but I was looking at it today, and I think you can fill out your paperwork before you actually get to Ghana and save some time. You probably can even pay for it also uh, beforehand. Uh, yeah, trust me. Anything that we need to save our time, we actually probably need to discuss with the group to save us some time because the last of the people that's told me, well, one, one, one time from I heard was like a two-hour delay, but, um, you know, we're going during the, uh, Christmas. Uh, we get there during Christmas, so it may be busy and it may also not be busy. Um, uh, but um, So anything we can do to save us some time will work, so that's one of the things that we can definitely discuss and yeah, definitely. Uh, anything that you can come up with and share with us, you or anyone else that's listening, uh, in any of the group pages that's going to help us be clear on what's going on, um, trying to get more of us involved in these things. That's and and uh, another, another thing uh, also, Jose, were you trying to also upgrade your, your seat to change your seat? No. Yeah, I think my daughter tried to uh, talk to you about that. I, I'm letting her handle that. <laughs> so. so <I'm laughs> If anything, what she has to do is just, just like, you know, tell everyone else, just communicate with me if you try to do certain things and it doesn't work out. Uh, our tickets are group tickets, but uh, 
it's sometimes the communication is, is crazy because uh, the tickets are so, you know, it's just like when you can, any one of us can pay for a ticket for any of us. So once we do that, the person who owns the ticket can do certain changes. But sometimes you run into lazy agents who use that as a cop out and say, go, basically say, go talk to the money, have them fix it for you. And have them call the group department or something like that. And it's the same airlines. Right. But uh, mm -hmm. so I'm not saying, no, I got your back, or whatever. You or anyone else is trying to change. And uh, just, you know, just link me in that situation, and um, as I begin to just try to close out on things for both of our tours, Tanzania and Ghana. Bomani, this is Kim. Can you hear me? Hey, greetings, Kim. How's it going? It's going okay. Um, how many orphanages did you say we're going to um, go to in Ghana, and approximately how many children will it involve? Yeah, honestly, I never know the number about the children, but um, I can give you a breakdown. Once we are in Accra, we're going to go up to the mountains in Tutu, which is by, which is above Abri, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, that is called Trinity Foundation or Trinity Academy, um, and and it's our uh, children from the age of um, uh, two, three years old, all the way up to uh, early teens. Uh, so I don't really have a defined number. Um, Sometimes it look like anywhere from 50 to 100. And uh, mm -hmm. if I do need to get the fine numbers, I can definitely work those things out. The same thing with the orphanage is the same makeup. And the orphanage is uh, once we leave from Accra, we're going to head to Cape Coast. And halfway uh, between Cape Coast is our community outside of Winneba. Uh So we'll be able to just go right there and uh, check that out. I've never been to that one um, also, so I don't have much details. But we're going to be doing some, going to be getting some information from there soon. Um, especially probably closer to next month uh, when Kwabna is over there. Uh, that way we can have things set up to meet them. And then also the third one, which is more of a school, uh, is uh, in Elmina, and that's the school that Amicus is a board of. Um, that is Akoma Academy, and um, mm -hmm. the same thing to me is bringing. It's about a good, um, closer to 100. So in all these spaces, on average, it seem like about 100 children. Um, and... Um, Whatever we, whatever we can bring, bring in. We just usually go there, show love, do presentations, and just um, connect. And just try to at least do something positive for the children you know, while we're on a tour. Okay, thank you. All right, perfect. Uh, all right, next person, um, uh, star six, unmute yourself. Give your name, where you're calling from, and your question. All right, uh, while we are waiting for the next question, just looking to see if there's anything else I can go over. All right, anyone else questions? Uh, star six, to unmute yourself. Okay, Bavani, this is Hosea. <clears throat> God, God, forbid that any, God forbid that anything that, like this were to happen, but what if people get sick on these tours? What sort of contingency plans do you have in place for that? Uh, we've got we got doctors, hospital, natural health people in a perfect location in Ghana. And where we go in Ghana, uh, we're in three of the more popular cities, so you have access to what you need. Um, but okay. uh, we've had it in the past where you know we have to you know so, someone get sick somehow, whether they decide to just like from heat stroke or whether it's food poison or whatever. Uh, we just do our best to just get them people. And then also the hotel uh, that we stay at and. Uh, they have the same protocol. Uh, they usually have people on their list that they call in case um, anyone need anything. And then for those who have insurance or things like that, you can, I don't know how those things work, uh, but uh, uh, that's the best uh, we can do for individuals. So um, like okay. we do our best to try to make sure everybody is safe and make sure no one falls or hurts themselves. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. All right, family, we are 12 days away from Tanzania, and um, we are literally a month and a half away from um, Ghana. So hopefully everybody got everything that they need, and um, hopefully everybody start packing and start having everything organized. And um, definitely everybody definitely understand that um, you, you need to have a universal uh, extension cord and power adapters and things like that, everything in the keyword universal uh, for all of your fancy electronics and things like that, that more of us have more and more. Hey, Bomani, hey, it's Kamal. Uh, go ahead, Kamal. 
Yeah, um, yeah. On my flight schedule, it says I leave uh, 13, one o'clock from uh, Fort Lauderdale, and I get to Atlanta at uh, almost two o'clock, and then from there at almost three o'clock, that's when we leave from uh, Atlanta. So I'm just saying, I got less than an hour once I land in Atlanta to get to the uh, international. I mean, is, is that enough time, or should I, or should I leave? Should I have left earlier? Yeah, I'm trying to pull up the flight schedule so I can see the time um, yet and look at that. Yeah, if we need to change it, uh, that's not a problem. I can change it. Um, let's do the yeah, so what I'll do is just, um, I'll make a note um, and I will um, take a look at your flight schedule and uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll just uh, figure it out. Okay. Yeah, I'm just concerned if there's any delays or anything. If I, if I have enough time, will I have enough time? All right, so it's, all right, perfect. I got yours right here. Yeah, so um, I'll check this out and um, we'll work it out and um, I'll see if they can just have you on an earlier flight. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh, yeah, so same thing for everyone. Uh, do check out the sequence. Um, I do look over all these sequence and everything. Hey, hey Bomani, is, uh, all right. where will we go to uh, exchange money? Uh, you exchange money uh, while, we're there in, um, while we're there moving around. Uh, we'll have someone to exchange the money for you. Okay, thanks. Oh, uh, another, I guess another two, uh, suggestion like for phone service or get a chip over there or try to. Uh, yes, um, now as far as um, I can go to uh, this to explain this to everyone. Um, everyone, as far as um, I did, you know, what we're doing, uh, once, you, um, once you get to, to Ghana, uh, you can just use your local phones uh, that you have here and you can connect to the Wi-Fi as best as possible to get uh, you know, to use your apps and things like that. But if you want to make a phone call, um, you're going to need, um, a, you know, you're going to need a, need a local SIM card. So if you have an unlocked phone, whether it's an unlocked phone that you purchased separate or you, you're using your, you know, your U.S. phone and removing a chip uh, and you confirm with your carrier that's an unlocked phone, then you can put one of Ghana SIM cards in there. SIM cards are a few bucks. And also uh, you can just put minutes on there. Uh, with the new phones that you have nowadays, you can create mobile hotspots. You can put enough minutes on it to where you you make your you make your international phone that you bring in a mobile hotspot, and you can use it to connect to your laptop, your tablet, uh, and your, also your US phones. So that's the importance of what our brother was talking about, and that's what I've been sharing with everyone as best as possible. And that's what I do because um, when I'm there, I'm just you know, I'm, I have my laptop and I have my business stuff, and I have, I have everything set up in the hotel. I'm doing my work. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, so anyone, if you have any questions about what I just explained, if it sounds confusing, just um, let me know. If, let me know if you need clarity, and I got you. But um, these are the sequence of things that we have set up uh, on these journeys. Uh, you want to make sure that um, you have all the stuff you need to communicate. But all of the hotels that we're going on, all of the tours, except for um, one Africa in uh, Elmina, uh, you'll get a Wi-Fi in a hotel. And we had one Africa uh, for three days, so that's why I use my um, my Ghanaian phone and turn it into a hotspot, so I can just have network for there. And then also when I ride on the bus, and in some cases, um, maybe we're like when we travel to Ghana, if the bus have Wi-Fi, we all get together and say we want to pay for the Wi-Fi on the bus. That's what I've done a few times in the past, so that gives you additional access now, especially when you're doing a four or five hour drive. Uh, so anything, uh, family, anything else anyone else want to bring up? Um, I'm just trying to give clarity for anything anyone wants to talk about as we get prepared to travel to uh, Tanzania. And then once we get back, we have another conference call for um, a conference call, and then we'll go to Ghana and then come back and then a few more conference calls, and then we'll get to um, our Senegal and the Gambia tour, which uh, we're still looking to add more people to. All right, so let me just mute everyone and anyone that's all right, so family, I got everybody muted in case you didn't mute everyone and there's any feedback. But anyone have any questions, um, this is just the part where everything is open. I don't have a lot to go over. It's a lot more of the same information over and over and things like that. All right, everyone, don't be shy. Let me just turn off screen. Hey, you, you taking Ghana questions now? 
No, I mean, it's not about Uganda. I mean, I have, I have tours uh, all the countries that I just named, including South Africa. Anybody have any questions? It's it, but most of the stuff is all the same um, as far as just preparation and things like that. Uh, but yeah, anybody have any questions? Any tour is fine. Ghana, Senegal, Gambia, South Africa. The family, as you get ready for um, Tanzania, I'll just be on standby as uh, we get all of the, the main thing and the best I can do, once again, is just really the uh, group WhatsApp page. So just trying to get everybody to, when you put information, only put good information in there and not a lot of junk. And also for those who can't access the page all the time, and once in a while you can click on it and you can just flip through and things like that. And then if there's anything that's very, very important that you need to connect with you on and, and you just, we don't really see you posting or communicating the group page, it'll send it to you separate. Um, in your own separate WhatsApp, but that's the best network I can find to work because once you get here to Ghana, if we're moving out and about and things like that, and anyone has to send any message, it'll go to the group page and we all can see it. Uh, so the same thing where if you have any delays or you can't catch a flight or something happened, all of us will know, and it's the same thing with our guides there in Tanzania. They're there on the page and they're going to be using that as a way for us to also connect. And Coastal Family, that's uh, it, you know, just using technology as a way to get us up organized and then try and look into this and hopefully everyone is just open to this being recorded and things like that. And if you're not, the first thing you need to tell me is, is so because I'm one of them people that, but more so than ever, I'm recording a lot of stuff. So it's just getting back to the art of filmmaking and things like that. There's so much garbage out there, you know, I got to come out, you know, I got to come back out the woodworks. I've been laying low, working on all business stuff and things like that. You know, so I definitely don't be trying to be on there doing a bunch of live streams and things like that. Because most of the information we have is repetitive and it's documented and things like that. But nevertheless, it's a source for us also communicating. So family, if no one else have any questions, we can resume uh, next month. And I want to say what I have scheduled for us is the 13th of uh, December. And that's the same time, 7 o'clock Eastern time. And in between that, um, I'm around and uh, uh, everyone have access to the YouTube link so, and then the Facebook link. So that's where we're going to post all videos and all pictures. So you'll see it under, you'll see it. And uh, you can just keep up and you know, cheer us on or something. But um, that's what I'm looking forward to. So if no one else have any questions, family, good night. And, um, Looking forward to connecting with everyone. Everyone have a wonderful night. All right. Good night. Good night.